Cambry one at Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Don't mind how I look. I just got out of the shower. Make sure that your hands, your skin in general is clean um, before you do nail art. That way it won't hurt my eyes. And it won't hurt your eyes. So looking at me is kind of fugly looking. So, um, so we are here to do some nail art. I will like to show you um, some that I had done on blue and white. How well you can see that. There you go, sort of. So what I did on that was I took the She Modern, love She Modern, I took the color Iceberg and placed it on the white. And then I took the color um, Kobe, K-O-B-I is how it's spelled. And I put that on there just to see what it looks like. Let me fix that lighting for you. Um, lighting still weird. I think I have to get a new ring light soon. There's that. Um, I'm using my Christmas art stamping plates from Amazon. You can also order She Modern on Amazon, if not over on her website, which she says she's running out of a lot of stuff. And yeah, I believe that. So again, um, taking the color Iceberg. I'll show you real quick before I show you that other one. And that actually works on top of, I didn't think it would work at first, works on top of this blue color from Believe Cosmetics at the Dollar General. This is the shade right here. It is called a Blue Lagoon. Blue Lagoon. I think maybe you like that movie. So anyway, then I took the white and I took the Kobe and I was going to do this different, um, but you know what? That's how it came out on there. Just testing the colors. I have the lighter blue one on here from Believe Cosmetics. This one is in the shade. Ski. Epress Ski. A Presky. <laughs> Wait, that's that lighter blue shade. Um, and then I took some Hollow Taco over that in the color Celestial Lights. Now you'll see over here I also took the color I'm Over Brew. Not milky white. Let me see what this one is real quick. This one and this one is from their barista collection from Hollow Taco. This is what does that say? Oh, oat something. Oat couture. Um, that's what that says. Gosh, it's hard to see that, like that little print. And this one is blast ice. The, it, this is the ice it's supposed to be like a pink ice color, and that would be that one. Yeah, and then there's the other one, and then I have the not milky white, the I'm over brew. And then there's that blue color from Believe. Um, and then I took Celestial Lights and went over them all, except for these two, because they don't need it. Um, and it gives it kind of this, I know you can see that color shift in there. I don't think I really like it over this one, so I might not do it that way. I like the way this turned out without celestial lights. I think that's beautiful. So will that be a repaint on that one? Absolutely. So 
Or we could test that out and see what happens. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and test that one out and see what happens. But I wanted to show you a few of the nails that I had tested before coming on here. Let me get my socks off. You know, if I'm going to do a video, I do it barefoot. So we are going to get this camera turned around and get you looking right over here at our nail station, which is also the sewing area. <laughs> now, I hope you will all be able to see that better from over here. Readjust myself. <laughs> So now we just have to pick some plates. I will have to say on another nail, I did do this. This is over the duct tape gray in the white. I do like how that turned out. Now I will let you know, I did try the middle trees on this one on white. And <laughs> that's how it turned out. That did not turn out. Let me fix this light again. Isn't that weird how we like we always have to fix our lighting? Could also be my glasses now. Fix that lighting. Here we go. Hopefully that helps you. I don't know what's up with lighting lately. Like I said, it could just be that I need to get a new ring light. There we go. Now maybe you can see it. That that just did not turn out right. I have to remember that the camera's on this side. <laughs> Used to be I had to worry about the camera being on the other side. So... Again, this nail art mat is by My Nails More by Jonna. I will leave her link down below along with Kay Lilla and the owner of She Modern because she's fantastic. <laughs> and let me get the hollow taco out of the way so that I can show you how I will do this. And then I will quickly decide which ones I want on my nails. I, I really like how this turned out here, so we may just pick with this one first. Um, and I think because this is on here and it kind of has that pink sheen to it, that I honestly want to try things I have not tried with the nails yet for design. So because it's this nail we might be able to do like a couple of christmas ornament stamps uh, there's a cute santa on this one just adorable he reminds me of that um little pumpkin headed dude for halloween because yeah pretty sure you get that so what we are going to do here is pick out like a few ornaments. I think I might just go ahead with this one because this has a bunch of ornament already on it. And we can go in. Now remember, this does not take a lot to do. So we are going to take Iceberg. I already shook this. If you want to know, it's shook. <laughs> it's a shook. Um, we'll figure out a placement real quick. I think I might want to go with this one here. I know you're like, oh my god, you just clobbed it. No, these are small. So small sometimes mean it will catch different. And it didn't get the whole thing. And that's the thing with doing this is sometimes, sometimes it's on there all good and everything. Or sometimes you see an image on here. Oh my gosh, we got some like little other things on here. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I might have an idea for these. 
it's not a lot, so I'll tell you that much. So, sometimes it's hard to see with that. I want to take it over right a spot on my mat where I can see it. Yeah, I think we'll just go this way at an angle. Oh, that did, that did sort of turn out. I don't know how well you can see that, but that sort of turned out. I think once this dries and I put the matte coat over it, you'll be able to see it better. So let me go ahead and clean this up. If you know, you know that I do keep... The uh, little cop balls over there was some, not acetone, no, with some nail polish remover on it. And we will try to get that ornament again. That really wanted to pick up. Like I said, you don't, you don't need a lot of this. Just a little dabble, do ya? Okay, I think that goes the whole thing. I'm not sure. We'll see. No, again, it didn't take, didn't take to it. Eh. You'll end up, look, I'm not going to lie. You'll end up getting the stuff on your nail or your fingers, you know, whatever, while you're doing this. So... There's that. But this is fun. It's an art. And as an artist, I find this to be rather relaxing. Um, Y'all always see my artwork hanging around my room. Well, let's try this one more time before I move on to something else. I did like get that one there, one there around it like that. Because I like it like that. <laughs> I think maybe cross our fingers. It took, thank goodness, right? I really wanted that one to take. So we just clean up the edges real quick. And then we can come back over here, figure out where we want our ornament, which I think I'll just go right here. Oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute. So I'm going to put this over here real quick. And we will grab the Stamping Clear Matte Watercolor um, Sealer stamping polish or it's not the stamping polish it, it's to seal it in pretty much so this way it does not smear okay that way it doesn't smear and i hope maybe it's this lighting i know you can't see it you get on white but trust me, it's actually pretty dang cute. I will take pictures and post this to my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, maybe in the YouTube section because there's a in the um, community tab. And do that there. Because that would be a good idea. So let's get that cleaned up again, shall we? Take a clean one. I can still use that one, but it's starting to get kind of gross. We will move on to the next nail. I will actually be doing my nails, but off camera. And then the next time you see me sewing something, you will see me with whatever nail. Because I'm starting to do nail art, not just for myself, but for some of my friends that enjoy 
watching me do this. Now, I'm obviously not the only channel on YouTube that does a little bit of everything, including nail art. There's Kay Lilla. There's the owner of She Modern. Um, there's My Nails and More by Jonna. Erica Sue's Nail and More. And then there's also Pandora Muse 57 Nails. Um, so there is those channels. So, you know, um, so I'm going to go with this blue one next. And what I'm going to do is take, what do I want to do here? I don't want to take this midnight one over it or the gray. We might try. Hmm, that's a good question. Let's take some lilac over the over something. What do I want though? That's a good question. I want something off of this plate again, but I'm thinking like I just use this one. Oh, there's the snowflake right there. So let's try this snowflake real quick. Let's see if we can get that. Remember, just close the lid on this because you never know. You might accidentally spill. Spilling a thrill. It's a waste of money. Okay, let's see if that picks up. To me, it looks smudgy. It might actually be there. Oh, it's there. It's a little weird in this light, though, but it is there. up the edge. Oh, it's definitely there. How do I want to take this on here, though? I think I might just go from here. Yeah, now that that's on there. I don't know. You can't see that. I would have to go over that with white. Well, we can stamp another one with white. That did go on cute. I wish it showed on camera, though. Also might be debatable if I even show you how I'm going to do my nails. But I just want to do this as seeing how the colors fare. with doing this. I'm going to go back over that. Take a different part of the thing though. Did I clean that? No, I didn't. So we will just take this and go like that. Snowflakes are not the same. Okay. There we go. I know you can't really see that. You can now if I move my dang hand. Anyway, <laughs> you can't if I do that. Let me see something real quick. Okay. I think I pretty much... Okay, yeah, that turned out cute. Oh, like I said, I adjusted the light. I just don't feel like I have my ring light on and I have my my lamp on. But like I said, I will take pictures. In fact, I'll even show you the... Oh my, that is stinking cute. That lilac and with that white, that is such... A cute combination. I'm going to say that you could probably do that same combination over these two. So let's try that. <laughs> let's try that. 
So I'm going to clean this up real quick and then I'm going to go grab something to drink because my throat's getting dry. So remember to clean your, clean your plate. <laughs> Clean off everything on your plate. Have you ever heard that before from elders? Like, clean your plate. I have. Anyway, I'll be right back. I have to go get something to drink. So, anyway, I was letting my friend know that the camera is not towards the, the door. So, he hates being on camera. And that's fine. But it's not pointed towards the door where he can enter. So anyway, just don't forget to put this on here to seal it. And put that over here. Because now I need me some sort of ugly sweater pattern, which I happen to have on this one. I thought I had another one that I didn't try. Oh yeah, there is. There's an ugly sweater one right here with um with some snowmen on it. So what we are going to do now is I will take the lavender. Did I yeah, I use the lilac. Let me use the lavender. No, not the lavender, because if I did the lavender, well, we could, oh my gosh, no, this one I just realized turned out so beautiful. Um, I'll use that with that one. What do I want to try? Let's go back to this one, although I swear I want to use this one. Why not both and a little white? Right? Why not? So we can take a little bit of this. Some white in the middle. And um, yeah, but you can come in. The camera's not over there. It's not pointed at the uh, thing. Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, now that we are back, I had to answer my friend. He's funny. And that we have these three colors. Don't worry about it. It's not going to dry out like most people would think. And let's make sure that there's nothing left on there before we go like this that picked up so stinking cute that did that picked up really cute I'll just leave those on there because I might need that a little bit extra so what I like to do is I know a lot of people can't just get it to go all the way and they've been using some sort of new nail tool so what I like to do is go from the tip of the nail, push it upward, roll it, and roll it. And that's how, I know one part of that came out smudged. But remember these are the practice nails, so this isn't exactly something that I will be wearing at the moment. But... I'm going to switch you guys over to the other side and see if that helps. Okay. I know that I should always have, I have you guys sitting on a box. Now maybe you'll be able to see this better. There we go. This is the one that smudged, obviously. Um, so, yeah, we won't be wearing that nail. That also gives me the opportunity to take that light blue one and put it on there, which we can do that right now.
Do you know that you can get more than one use out of those? I've gotten a few and then I change it. So um, we'll go ahead and take this one and clean this up. Don't mind my desk. My desk is a mess when I'm doing some stuff. No matter if it's sewing, <laughs> knit, or crocheting, if I'm sitting over here even doing the nail art, it gets a little, it gets a little messy, but it's cleanable. Clean that up. Clean that up again. Make sure you clean it. And I'm going to have to say on this one, I want to try something I haven't tried yet in color on a nail like this. Now, I'm not going to go all out weird color on this you'll have to excuse me excuse me um gosh i really want to try that little santa to see how he stamps i really do so we're going to try this right here Let's see what we can do with the little fella. Now I have more than one Santa. He picked up really good. Clean up the edges. Now he's a little fella. And we will take him and place him right, I want him like right here. Does that seem weird? But wait, that's not all. I gotta clean that up. Because you can double stamp these. You just let that sit for a couple of moments and then you can double stamp an image. You don't necessarily have to use the black to do it. You can also do this with the white. Um, Uh, he didn't pick up too good this time. Huh. Sometimes it happens, but I just want to show you these ones real quick. And then when I'm done with these, I will seriously pick out what I really want for myself. But we'll, we'll stamp that one before anything, before I end the video. And we might stamp the other one real quick, too. So, now that that's cleaned, he should pick up. Let's see if I can get this little snowman with him. I got part of the snowman. I also got the Santa. He'll be over himself. There we go. That didn't come out too good. Let's try to get this little snowman. The snowman went on. Anyway, I don't like how the little Santa turned out. <laughs> he looks kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> so we'll do that nail and that nail, and then we're going to end this video. Let's go ahead and seal these two in here. Because <laughs> why not? I don't know. Maybe after that dries, maybe after it cures, then, um, yeah, maybe it'll look better. So, what do we want to do next? Um, what? 
I want to do some snowy Christmas tree on this one, but with the hint of another color. Um, we want to go with mint. I do want to try that. We'll pick some other tree. I know there's trees on that plate. I will go with this. There's some tree right here. Let's go with that. That's like a big Bertha tree. Bertha tree, big Bertha tree. <laughs> Just don't send Bertha after me. <laughs> don't mind me and the labels and how I do this like I always have to have my labels forward it's a thing that tree did not pick up period did not you saw that Okay, so let's go back to mint, minte, sometimes we need minto, <laughs> and the white. It honestly does not take a lot of this, and we're just going to go in with green. I would have used a lime. I think she has a color called coconut. I'm going to have to see. So then I'll use the lime and the coconut and shake it all up. Now that picked up better. Yes, that picked up way better. So we will place the tree right about here. Now trees aren't perfect, by the way. And that kind of makes it look like it's in the snow. So there's that. So we will do that other nail after I clean this up again and clean up the card again. Remember, like I said, just remember to keep all your, your tools and stuff clean. Um, that's another reason why I use the stampy mat because before I had the stampy mat, it was getting all over the desk. And, you know, I can't really have that because I use a lot of fabric at this desk and I don't want it on my fabric. I have more clean ones over here. Um, so let's take this last nail and put something on here that I have not done yet, which would be this stamping plate. I have used my other stamping plates. I just haven't used this one. So, now what are we going to do before we end this video? Because it's getting late. Um, I have not tried the midnight. But I'm not sure if that's something. No, I don't want to do that with that. I like to try to color match these as good as possible so that when I go to do something, it's going to turn out cute, not weird. Weird is ugly sweater. Although I could do this as an ugly sweater, which could be work on a lime. You guys might get a kick out of this. We're going to go. We're going to use this one. So we're going to use a little dab of lime.
a little dab of mango. When I mean little dab, I mean smaller than the rest. Um, then we will take some lilac. And with that, like I said, now we're going for ugly sweater. And what else? Because you can do multiple colors. It's fun. You can just do multiple colors. So now we're just going to use iceberg. It's not the lettuce. The lettuce hope that this turns out right. <laughs> It does. I don't know if I did that good enough. I'm not used to swiping it that way. Oh my, look at that. That's, that's funny. Oh my gosh, that is funny. I know it picked up on another part. Another part? Yeah, it did. It picked up on this. So if that a little bit of that makes it in there, I'm not going to be all mad about it. And if I can't really see what I'm doing, this is another trick that I do. And huh, that's kind of funny. Like I said, you know, going for ugly sweater. And uh, that's some ugly sweater, all right. <laughs> uh, these uh, stocking didn't stamp all the way. It left a little design. So I think what I could probably do with that is just take the snowflake over there in a minute. So clean a little bit of this up around that so that we don't get like a bunch of other stuff that we don't want. I kind of want to keep this, but at the same time, I kind of don't. So I think what we'll do is just narrow it down to that. So that I can put the snowflake. I want to put that snowflake like right out here. Okay, that went sort of. And then take the rest of this and go across to here. Well, it did something. It left an effect. Y'all probably didn't even see that. I was trying to make sure y'all could see it. <laughs> so anyway. Um, my only other thing that I would do with this one is just maybe add what looks like snow around it. Um, this one, not on the snail color. This one, it's there. It's just very faint, so if anything, I would say use one of the other colors, not Iceberg with that one, because that one doesn't show up. And then you can use Lilac and White with this one, and that's so cute. This was just an experiment <laughs> of a multitude of colors. And um, I'm going to clean up my little station here, and uh, yeah. Give me a minute. So yeah, sorry about the lighting situation. I really got to get these taken in. They're like my favorite, my second favorite pair. Uh, they're my actual favorite pair of my black frame. And I don't have those next to me. So anyway, I know you didn't get to see these too good. This one, I'm going to say it's cute, but you can't really see it on camera which is quite a shame. I don't know how well you can see that one. Like, 
Now you can sort of see it. But it, even if I change the light effect in here and just turn it up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed like seeing some of this. I'm not necessarily going to do these ones except for maybe this one. I think that one turned out really cute. But again, it's up to people what they like. I like, quite frankly, I like this one. And that was ugly sweater on there. Um, not really ugly though, it's cute. And then I have the white snowflakes on I'm Overbrew, like I showed you earlier. And yeah, and this one didn't turn out too good, but let's not forget that this one is here. Because, you know, that's smudged. Um, and then over the, the duct tape gray from Hello Taco is this. I mean, it stamps. It really stamps good. And over that really light blue... The white stamped really good on that so I'm gonna say depends on the nail colors that you have and the stamping polish colors that you have determines how your artwork is going to turn out and how well because you know I'm still learning um, it determines how well your nail art is going to turn out so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was educational because it was for me. Um, so stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of December and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I will see you in the next one. Don't mind me. I'm tired, y'all. I'm I heard I'm trying to catch up on everybody's stuff and I'm just tired. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.